passports to citizens. So Pakistan government had a more relaxed attitude. So it was easier to come from Pakistan. But it wasn't so easy from India because Nehru, he was the Prime Minister at that time. He had this idea, we don't want our people going to England to do labor. So a lot of, lot of, lot of Punjabis, Sikhs, clean shaved, cross the border. <laughs> it was easy to cross in those days and uh, got in touch with the agent somewhere in Pakistan for oneself Muhammad Deen or <laughs> Afsul Deen <laughs> and got a passport and then came to UK. <laughs> oh, interesting. So there are thousands oh my of God. Punjabi Sikhs oh, who Muhammad who Muhammad. their first passport oh. coming here. They were Muslims. <laughs> so they changed the name back or they kept it? They changed it back. Interesting. And, and then in 62, British government uh, passed this legislation, Immigration Act, to regularize immigration to United Kingdom. Meaning Und become a citizen? Under that, not citizen, just immigration. Okay. Citizenship is another state. How much was the ticket to come here from say, India or Pakistan? You mm. probably came from Pakistan because you had a Pakistani passport. No, no, no. no you went, took no, the no. passport went back to India? No, no, I came from India. I got a... Oh, you got a regular one? Yeah. I no, got but the, like the normal people would, for example... Then they got another passport. Came here, applied to the... Oh, you, they were coming by ships or by planes? Most people came by ships. And how much did it used to cost? Uh, Trying to remember, hundred rupees. Oh, no, no, no. Probably twenty thousand rupees. Twenty thousand so rupees. You came by ship in nineteen sixty two. No, I came by air. But majority of people came up to nineteen sixty two. Majority came by sea. So nineteen sixty up to nineteen sixty two, the fees was twenty thousand rupees when the sona was hundred rupees a tola. Yeah, probably. Holy moly, that's that's a lot of money. Yeah. But I'm not sure about the fair, I could be wrong. So I got uh, a friend of mine who was a travel agent. He filled in uh, five applications of five friends as a practical joke, literally as a practical joke, and sent it to the British High Commission in Delhi. So within three, four weeks, all of us got employment vouchers. Employment vouchers? Not that we applied for it. Somebody else applied. The, the, this uh, person who was a travel agent, <laughs> that was his business. You uh, uh, he grew up in rural area, but bahar tasil ke bahar log bethe hote hain who make your applications, write your affidavit, this sort of thing. Whatever you want to get done. So that that was his business, uh, putting together application for a passport. So he thought of this idea. We all got employment voucher. I didn't have any idea of coming here, no desire to come here. Uh, how then, old were you? Then uh, I was 24. 24. Then uh, fate plays its part. So one of my friends, elder brother, who was already settled there, came for Christmas holidays. To India? To India. So I happened to mention to him that I got this employment voucher. But I'm not going. He said, oh, come over, you know, Indian hospitality. Come over, you could stay with us. You know, if you don't like, you can come back. So curiosity set in. Because in my childhood, our education, first four years was Urdu. And then after partition of India, they said, no more Urdu. Hindi or Punjabi. In Lailpur. You were in Lailpur, then you went to Pradhyana. And uh, then... Uh, uh, How was immigration for you? My... Uh, you don't know immigration once you have employment? No, no. How was immigration from Lailpur to... Oh, it was... Okay. Hellish. Absolutely hellish. There were a lot of killings. Our train was attacked. 